Hey YouTube, it's Tara the Antenna Man here to talk about eight different types of interference that can affect the reception of your over-the-air TV stations. Now in an ideal world, TV signals would travel from the transmitter to your antenna and besides maybe a mountain in between that could affect it and your overall distance, what are a few other factors that can affect the reliability of picking up these stations? Now, assuming that you have the correct antenna for the TV frequencies in your area and the signals are hitting your antenna, there are several things that can affect it. And the first thing that can affect it is the building material in your house. TV signals do not travel well through building material. And if you're using an antenna indoors, you're likely weakening the signal to the point that several TV stations may not be showing up or may not be reliably picked up. Even if you had the world's greatest antenna precisely tuned to a frequency you're trying to pick up, the signal isn't gonna do the best job traveling through the building material of your house. You try traveling through a wall, it doesn't really work out that well. Now I understand some of you are in an apartment complex or you rent, there are a few things that you can do to improve your indoor reception if you're restricted to using an indoor antenna. I attached a video in the link of this description that includes several ways to improve your TV reception if you choose to use an indoor antenna. Another factor that can interfere with over-the-air TV broadcasts are power lines directly outside your house, especially if they carry a higher voltage. And this is more prominent on VHF TV stations. This happened to me a few months ago when I was installing an antenna. I had a very good antenna, and no matter where it was placed on the roof, there was some interference on one of the TV stations that was on the VHF band. It would be pixelating maybe every 10 seconds, and it would be a constant pixelization. That's how you can usually tell if it's interference. If you see some pixelization, and it's almost in a rhythm. In this situation, the interference was a lot more noticeable on one of the ladies' TV sets that happened to be an older RCA model. Certain TV tuners don't do a good job at decoding weaker or even stations that have some interference. And the workaround for this is to purchase a separate TV tuner or a new TV set. I recommend the Amatic Digital Converter Box if you're looking to keep your existing set and you have interference that's only prominent on one TV set. It does a really good job decoding weaker stations and you can also connect it via HDMI so you still keep the HD signal. Along with power lines outside your home that can interfere with weaker VHF TV stations, another factor that can interfere with them are several electrical items inside your home. These include blenders, microwaves, and even LED light bulbs. I experienced this issue firsthand about a year and a half ago when I first moved in this house. Every time I turned the microwave on, I would lose reception of two of the VHF TV stations. They would just start pixeling like crazy. I wouldn't have a watchable signal. If you're in this situation and you want to use an indoor antenna, I highly recommend upgrading. Stop using this model. If you're using it, it's a piece of junk. It doesn't work well. I recommend the Clearstream 2 Max if you want your best shot at reliable reception indoors, especially if you're using a junk antenna that isn't picking up the station well in the first place is a point every time you turn on a light or a microwave the signal completely cuts out. Another factor that can interfere with your TV reception are trees. Now if you only have one or two trees outside your house and the signals are strong you're probably not going to have any issues don't worry about the trees but if your house is surrounded by trees especially if you live in a very heavily wooded area and the signals are weak there's a good chance on windy days you'll notice that certain TV stations start to pixelate or go out altogether. that's because the trees are interfering with them. If you're in this situation a few options you have is to get a really good antenna and move it to a path that has as much of a clearing as possible compared to being pointed directly at a tree. Another factor that can interfere with your TV reception are airplanes flying overhead. And this is more prominent if you're using a small multi-directional antenna or an indoor antenna. The airplane doesn't really block the signal, but what happens is a signal reflects off the airplane and your antenna starts seeing two out of sync signals, otherwise known as multipath interference. And it can't decode it, so you end up getting either a bunch of pixels or no signal. If you're in this situation, again, the workaround is to get a very good directional antenna and point it in the path of the towers. Along with airplanes causing multipath interference, cars on the street can do this as well. So if you experience dropouts every time a car drives by and you're using an indoor antenna, the solution is to get an outdoor antenna. 
Another type of interference that can happen mostly on VHF TV stations is FM interference. If you live fairly close to an FM broadcast transmitter and you have a weaker VHF TV station, you may notice that it doesn't come in that well or it starts to pixelate every so often. That may be FM interference and one way to find out is to purchase an FM trap and place it on the coaxial cable going into your TV set. If it solves the issue, then you're good to go. But if not, it may be something else besides interference, it may just be a weak signal and a better antenna may be needed. In addition to FM interference on the VHF band, 4G LTE interference can also happen on some of the higher frequencies on the UHF band. This happens more if you live close to a cell tower. And you can tell it's interference if you notice kind of like a pulse rhythm, like maybe every 10 or 15 seconds it pixelates or just drops out altogether. That's usually a sign of interference. And if this is the case, you can buy an LTE filter. I've attached links to both the FM trap and LTE filter in the description of this video. So there you are, eight factors that interfere with over-the-air TV signals. Now, if you're curious on other ways how to improve your TV reception that isn't buying a new antenna or mounting it outside, feel free to check out a video in my description that's 10 ways to improve your TV reception. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more antenna and cord cutting related information. Support me on Patreon and have an awesome day.